Hello pianist! Today's video will teach you how to play in various beautiful dynamics ranging from very soft pianissimo to very loud fortissimo. And then we'll practice developing hand independence by playing one hand louder than the other, which is commonly referred to as voicing. Dynamics is the Italian word for the louds and softs of music, which adds great interest and expresses music from very soft and peaceful to very exciting and loud, maybe even aggressive type of music. Just like our voices have various ranges of volume and inflection, so should our music, that way it represents real life. Dynamics are created by how much arm weight we place into the key, and that affects how quickly the hammer is actually striking the string within an acoustic piano. So a heavier touch will result in a louder sound versus a lighter touch will result in a softer, more peaceful sound. So I'll introduce these dynamics from the softest to the loudest that we typically see in piano repertoire. And again, we're gonna go back to our C major five finger scale. I want the notes to feel comfortable, that way you can learn some new techniques. The softest dynamic we'll start with today is represented by two letter P's. And that means in the Italian pianissimo, meaning very soft. So you can practice this one hand, maybe even your right hand or left hand. I'm gonna play it hands together. I'm gonna play very light to the bottom of the keys. Just take your time to get that control. I still use my wrist circles. Practice your scale and then your skips for your C chord. And the blocked chord. Very light and soft will create that peaceful sound. Next dynamic level that's a bit louder is marked by a letter P, which in the Italian actually represents piano, meaning soft. Not our instrument, but the volume of soft. So that's just a little bit more arm weight. is mezzo piano, which is the letters M, P, meaning medium soft. Mezzo means medium, just a little bit more weight. Let's switch our scales for some practice. I'm gonna to go to a G, five finger scale, which is all white notes. I'm on those Gs. Next dynamic level louder than mezzo piano is represented by M, F, which means mezzo forte, or medium loud, a bit more arm weight. of my dynamic range, I'll go to forte, which is represented by F, just meaning loud. We can go back to, how about an F major five finger scale, which is F, G, A, B flat, and C. Let's go out of forte range. The last one is represented by two Fs, which means fortissimo, or very loud. Let's go back to C major five finger scale for this last one. are all relative. They're relative to the piano that you're playing on. My dynamic range will be naturally smaller because I have a smaller instrument compared to this acoustic Steinway. This is a smaller uh, Steinway than you might see in a recital hall. So your largest dynamic range will come from those large pianos in a recital hall. Also, the length of strings affects that. If I have shorter strings like a small piano, it'll be a smaller dynamic range. So be patient and work on the dynamic range that you can achieve at your piano. It's all related to the arm weight and how quickly or softly I go to the bottom of the keys. Once you can have some success with those range of dynamics, we will go into um, more shading or shaping of dynamics. Rarely does music just stay at all at one level. Typically there's this range of going from soft to loud and loud back to soft. It just adds interest again to music so it represents life and people. So the symbol that you'll see composers use if they want you to go from a soft to a loud is called a crescendo marking. And it looks like an alligator mouth is what I tell my younger students. So I tell them to remember if the alligator mouth opens up, imagine that the alligator is opening up and he's roaring and it becomes louder. Typically when music goes higher, it gets softer to louder. So we can even practice this on a C major arpeggio. So I'm gonna play that five octave hand for hand arpeggio. I'm gonna start with a very soft arm weight. I'm gonna to try to go from pianissimo to fortissimo at the top, so very soft. Increase your weight into the keys. About a forte, fortissimo. 
increase the weight as it descends. You can also practice that crescendo just on a C five finger scale, one hand or hands together if you're ready. Start with soft weight. Increase the weight to the bottom of the keys. circles that way you have the strength of your arms to help you give those dynamic ranges you probably also noticed I was adding in another dynamic level that I'll talk about next it's called a decrescendo or diminuendo they mean the same thing the same symbol will be given for both of those words looks like the alligator mouth is closing up so we're going from a loud volume to a softer sound typically when notes descend will become softer or decrescendo or decrease so let's practice that with that C scale I'm going to start up on a G and start forte and go down, decrease to piano. Put it together and your C scale can ascend, crescendo, increase, decrease. And again, practice it on those hand over hand arpeggios so you have more notes to add that dynamic range. Okay, once you're comfortable with playing various dynamic levels, crescendo and decrescendo, I think we really get to the fun of getting to play different volumes between the hands. We're pianists, so we play with both hands. This helps bring out a melody louder than an accompaniment. I'll preview the piece I'll play in just a moment, a Bach minuet. You'll hear this melody all the way through in the A section. That should be voiced louder than the other hand. back and forth between right hand and left hand so I want to bring out or play louder that hand. Voicing comes from like a choral aspect. Think about a conductor standing in front of this large choir, bass, tenor, alto, and sopranos. Maybe he wants the altos to bring out their melody so that middle part would be voiced out louder. Often in piano music we'll play those higher notes voiced out louder. So let me teach you how to voice. Go back to that familiar C five finger scale. First practice your right hand forte. Quick arm weight down to the bottom of the keys. Define the sound of the melody that you're going for. Next, you're gonna play the left hand. Start with your thumb on a G. I'm going to play it silent play. That means I just tap on top of the keys, but no sound comes out. Get used to controlling that. Just the fingers are tapping. Once you can get that kind of control between the hands separately, the next challenge is to put it hands together. Take your time and be patient. So I'm going to have my right hand play, my left hand just tap silently on top of the keys. Maybe you just need to start out with one note to begin. Just get those thumbs for the right hand to be heavy and the light hand, left hand rather to be light. Once you can get that control of no sound and the right hand with full sound, add in a little bit of weight where the left hand is piano. Then you're going to try them at the same time. Go slow and be patient. your time to get that technique. Once you can play the right hand louder, we also want our left hand to get some comfort playing louder. As you heard in that Bach minuet that I'll play in just a moment, left hand gets the melody as well. So you can go back through the same process. Start with your left hand thumb. It's easiest on the same finger numbers. Left hand forte. Use your arm circles. That way you have all of the support of your arm behind it. Right hand is now going to be the accompaniment or the softer part, so I want it to play silently, which is sometimes difficult for that dominant hand to play really light. It's okay if the keys go down a little bit. Now we're going to put those together. Left hand is forte, right hand is silent to start. That will take several tries. Maybe you just have to try it thumbs to start, left hand goes down, right hand's very light. Once you can gain that control, that hand independence of left hand louder than right hand, play it together with the right hand piano touch. 
while the left hand is forte. So we're always looking in our piano repertoire for places to add beautiful dynamic shaping to find where is the melody so that way it's pronounced and it's voiced out clearly for our audience to hear. To hear the beauty and interest that dynamics add to repertoire, I will represent the voicing and dynamics on box minuet in G major, BWV 116, again from the Anna Magdalena Bach notebook, who was Bach's second wife, published between 1722 to 1725. It is free on public domain websites. As you listen, enjoy hearing the different ranges of dynamics, the voiced melody in the right hand and also the left hand. You also hear some different articulation touches, so enjoy the beauty of dynamics and articulation in box minuet.